So the other day, as per normal, I was TikToking, which is nothing unusual because it's become quite the obsession. But I came across Angelina Jolie with one of her children at a Maniskin concert. And now I'd never heard of that band or that song up until that point. So I thought, hmm. That's interesting. So I went to YouTube, I watched the video in its entirety. I thought, yeah, absolutely, I'm gonna do that. And guess what? It's blocked. Uh, everything I wanna do on YouTube is blocked, but there is light at the end of the Maniskin Tunnel because it's only the video that's blocked and not the song. So I'm totally gonna do a live version reaction and that's why I'm here today. So here I am, Nicholas Andrew, the somatic singer. I wanna be your slave and I totally wanna be his. I want to be a slave, I want to be a master I want to make your heart beat run like roller coasters I want to be a like I want to be a gangster Cause you could be the beauty and I could be the monster I love you since this morning, not just for aesthetic I want to touch your body so fucking Visually electric I know very you're interesting. Me. you say that I'm too eccentric Die. I'm crying on my tears and that's fucking pathetic I want to <laughs> So I think it's pretty safe to say that that song and performance, it delivered. It delivered on every level. I mean, yeah, the song, great, great, great song. You know, so deserved of going viral and really I've got nothing more to say about that. But the band, yes, I mean, they played the living shit out of those instruments and I love that. I'm always really impressed when a band, you know, can like reproduce more or less in a live setting what they've done in the studio. It takes skill, it takes musicality, real musicianship and talent. I loved it. But yeah, come on. We've got to talk about how they present themselves visually. Very interesting. I just thought they had a really nice vibe about them, you know, really edgy, you know, quite cool. But Damiano, I mean, come on, that was quite a look. <laughs> and he's 100% owned it, if you're asking me. You know, because I've seen a lot, you know, throughout my years on the planet, seen a lot of male artists come along, you know, and borrow that kind of look, elements of it, you know, in an attempt to be controversial and it's really not, or just be edgy and cool, whatever, you know. And it comes off just a little bit disingenuous but with Damiano 
absolutely not. For me, he embodied that and it felt really natural, you know. But I do hate myself just a tiny bit because I felt the need to go off, you know, and Google his sexuality. And I don't give a fuck what you are, you know, what you've got, you know, where you put it, who with and when. I just don't care. But I am human and I've just got natural curiosity. But anyway, I found out, you know, he's a heterosexual. Um, <laughs> totally again, labels couldn't give two monkeys what anyone is. But I love the fact, you know, that he's bringing that look into the mainstream media. He's not the first and he won't be the last, but it's got to piss a lot of people off. I love that. I salute him for it. And totally, I'm going to be paying more attention to him and his band in the future. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today because I feel for this video, I've said enough. But let me know what you think. Get right to me. Get scribbling. Tell me your thoughts and your feelings in that section below. I really enjoy getting them. You know, because this one, like I said, has been really fascinating for me. Very, very interesting. And I want to know what you think. And there's a Wizio link down there as well if you want me to react to your singing. And if you don't, that's absolutely fine. But like I always say, thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Take care. Peace, y'all.